apparently. But you know, it was very important lessons. And <laughs> <laughs> How do you I don't eat? Know what they are, but. <laughs> How do you eat your Oreo there, Scotty? Any way I can, Susan. That's right. <laughs> Good morning to you. And you know, I, you assume that a lot of those Oreos were wasted. I don't know. That's Some of those scientists oh, there true. looked Good a little. Point. Yeah, they could, yep. mm, crumbs. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Um, and happy Tuesday to you. Now we're not going to see a ton of snow coming our way today, but the timing of the little snow that we're going to get is going to be problematic. Here's Viper Radar HD right now into southeastern Wisconsin, and you can see a band of patchy snow showers rolling in from the west, traveling eastward. This will be out of the way, you know, as we approach probably the 7 a.m. hour. Uh, the problem is it could leave a dusting to a couple tenths of an inch on some of the roadways that are untreated. So be aware of that. Let's zoom in using advanced Doppler 4 radar technology right there where some of the steadiest and heaviest stuff is. And you may see some of that snow coming down right along the 94 corridor from around Johnson Creek, the outlet malls there, over to Jefferson and Dousman, around Delafield, approaching Waukesha. Uh, we'll start to see some flakes flying in Waukesha before you know it. But right now, it just is pretty cold out there, including in Port Washington. No flakes flying in port yet in Ozaki County. You can see up to the north just a cold picture and a lonely one at that. Oh, here comes a car. I feel much better now. Let's get to your weather headlines on this Tuesday. A few flakes will fly in the morning and then again toward the evening. In between, still a chill and get ready for a warm up coming later in the week. That'll feel nice after the cold temperatures for the first start of the uh, this work week. 27 right now in Fondy. It's 28 in West Bend and Port, also in Waukesha, 30 in Milwaukee. You say, Scott, that's not too bad. Problem is we're just not going to rise very much because we're kind of in this cold pattern of northwest winds that's going to continue to keep us below average over the next couple of days. Those northwest winds will be rather brisk at times, 10 to 15 miles an hour. We're kind of on the back side of a stacked low pressure system in the atmosphere and on the back side of it with these little disturbances passing through, we'll see some patchy snow showers again early and late, but high pressure building in for tomorrow should usher in some sun for today. Snow early and late, cloudy, breezy and cold in between highs near 33. We're down to 20 tonight with more snow showers, breezy and cold again, less than an inch of accumulation up to a cold and breezy 32 tomorrow with decreasing cloud sun in the afternoon and partly cloudy and cold tomorrow night all the way down to near 18 going in the wrong direction. Here comes Milwaukee's one and only 3D HD seven day planner. Looks like we warm up by the end of the week. Caitlin up to about 41 with a mix of precip on Friday. All right. Thanks for the